Come on. Yes. Again, I have why is it always twitching? Hang on a moment. For some reason it keeps wielding out. I think maybe if I don't have Uplay open when I start it. It gimps. Come on. Let me skip it. Okay, that's better. No, I have an assignment. What is my assignment? And that's a lot of stuff. Assassin then, no. Yes? Okay, when will we start? Yeah, the red square at the top, that's not variety. And I should pay attention to that. will be leading his forces to the vantage of Edirne. Glorious his triumph will be, should um. any be foolish enough to... Heralds, proclamations, local laws, news, market days and advertisements were all called out by heralds since many people in the 16th century could not read. In Ottoman Constantinople, heralds were joined by their cousins, the Muz Muazin, Muazin, the criers who stand atop minarets and perform the daily calls to prayer. Their name is Muazin. Oh, there's a thing. I found a thing. Pigeon, pigeon. Come on, stop the... That's where I need to go? I need to go down. <coughs> right, because that's how you get in to the den. Any damage? Not that I can see. Byzantine Templars Damn may it. be bad hosts, but are decent tenants. Once they capture a location, they like to keep it intact. Because they intend to stay. Well, as promised, if you want to learn how to craft your own bombs, I can show you. Oh, they did that. Ah, 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 don't touch that. One wrong move and bang, the building comes down. Are you serious? <laughs> Look on your face. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Okay, let's do it again. Mm. I got stuff. They're multiplying. Um. I want to loot.
We craft our bombs from a combination of three parts. The shell, the gunpowder, and the primary ingredient. Sometimes we add a few extras too, for fun. But we'll come to that later. For now, focus on these elements. Uh, impact shell. No, fuel shell. Uh, small explosion. Medium explosion. Indian? Indian? Yeah, Indian. Fuse, Indian. Datura. Lith uh, shrapnel. Little device. Datura, little explosive. Slowly poison. Now let's go shrapnel. Craft the bomb. Mm. Fine. Arabic. And shrapnel. Fuse shell, Arabic, shrapnel. Okay, it's a thing. Thank you. Now can I make something else? You'll find many ingredients for bomb recipes scattered throughout the city. So keep your eyes open and your nose to the ground as you move about. That should keep me busy. Grazie, Yusuf. Have you ever seen this book? Uh, no. It's a journal? See, si. The Secret Crusade by Niccolo Polo. Uh, Marco's father? I found this on a Templar in Masyaf. It mentions the five keys to Altair's library. Niccolo brought them here and hid them. Ah, and the Templars know this, so it's a race against time. They found one already, beneath Topkapo. I want to recover it and find the other four. So, where will you begin? The old Polo trading post, I think. They ran a business in this area, no? I believe so. Uh, speak with a man named Piri Reis in the bazaar. He can point you in the right direction. And teach you a few more bomb recipes, if you are so inclined. Sure, um, yeah. Loot stuff, and stuff, and... So that's a splinter bomb, cherry bomb. Give me splinter bomb and that. All right, time to go. Um, where am I headed? Destination. The latest breakthroughs in medicine, alchemy, and invertebrates are here at your disposal. Yeah, invertebrates. <laughs> I am well versed in the latest of healing techniques. Um, there's something up there. Okay, climb this. Oh, 
Hello. Excuse me. What on earth is he doing? Just checking this out. Thank you. And unlock this bookstore. Bookshops, uh, movable type press. Uh, hmm. Yeah, books are cheaper. Give me the stuff. I already got all the stuff. There's a herald over there. Somewhere over there. Excuse me. Oh. Piri Reyes. I think I have seen some of your earliest work. Reyes? <laughs> Did Yusuf Tazim send you? That sounds like one of his exaggerations. See, si. he said you could show me the location of Nicolo Polo's former trading post. Ah, you must be that Florence he's been yammering on about. Uh, Lothario? Ezio. Ezio. I don't hear the difference. Yes, the old Polo shop. It's just west of Aya Sofia. Here. West of Aya Sofia. Grazie. Yusuf also mentioned that you were the man to talk to about specialty bombs. Ah, that man. He is a talker. A vet. I'm a navigator in the Sultan's Navy. Currently on leave to study cartography. But through my soldiering, I've also gained an appreciation for artillery and explosives. And it has served the assassins well. It gives us a... an edge. I carry many kinds of bombs. For assassins only, of course. Lethal, tactical, diversionary. <clears throat> peculiar casings. Everything you see here is for sale. If you can prove you know how to use it first. I am eager to learn. Well, no one is stopping you. Just let me know. How do I prove myself? Piri Reyes. Born somewhere in the Ottoman Empire sometime around 1467, give or take a few years. Hatsi Ahmed Muhyiddin Piri was not quite so mysterious as his vague origins may imply. He was an accomplished seafarer and officer in the Ottoman Navy. Seabound by his early teens, he got his first experience as a privateer, sailing on expeditions of dubious legality with his uncle Kamal in and around the Mediterranean. By the time he was in his 20s, he and his uncle had both joined the Ottoman Navy, trading their rough freedom for respectability. In 1503, at the close of the Ottoman-Venetian conflict, Piri's taste for military adventures waned for a time and he shifted his interest to intellectual pursuits, beginning a serious study of cartography. In 1506, after some initial and unfortunate disagreements with the assassins, Piri joined their ranks, not as a warrior, however, but as a scholar and technician. For all that he had seen in his years as a sailor, he had grown bored of the artificial boundaries that separate nations from one another and felt the assassins offered the truest intellectual freedoms. In late 1511, after the sudden death of his uncle, Piri took to the seas once again to study navigation and hone his drafting skills. By 1513, he had produced what would eventually be considered his most famous map, a small work best known for containing one of the earliest accurate depictions of the eastern shore of South, Af South America. Throughout the next few decades, Piri continued to make maps and perfect his skill as a craftsman of rare artistic and technical talent. It wasn't until Piri was in his early 80s that he officially earned the rank of race or admiral, at which point he was a legend in the Ottoman Navy. So that's the stuff, and that's the stuff, and I'm synced. Sure.
in touch with the tactical bomb board and begin smoke screen to total mission. Ah, turkey smoke bombs. Are you curious to try a few? Should I? I've used smoke bombs before, with varying results. But not like ours. We have a special recipe for deep, dark clouds. Throw one of these and your eyes are useless. You must rely on your hearing and any other senses you may have cultivated. Other senses? What could that mean? <laughs> Word gets around, Ezio, that you are a special sort of man with strange gifts. Keep it to yourself. Period <laughs> uh, smoke screen. Use the new smoke bomb, infiltrate the church courtyard, and steal the bomb's ingredients. Do not kill anybody. Okay, so... Fists only. Throw money only. Swordsmith, you're telling me about. Hmm. I see what you mean. Saw so a smoke bomb in the middle of the guard post. Release bomb. <laughs> what is going on? What was that? Something, something. People? Janissaries. Both admired and feared by the populist Janissaries were the Sultan's elite soldiers, expertly trained warriors loyal only to their leader, raised from early childhood through the De Dev Shirme system. The practice of conscripting intellectually and physically exceptional Christian children for the permanent positions in Ottoman military and government, the Janissaries were a unique influential social class all their own, and while they were not free in the standard sense, they nevertheless had an inordinate influence on imperial politics, and any man who failed to gain their favor would never become an effective ruler. As one historian of the era wrote, the Janissaries terrify the people of Istanbul. Above all, don't let any of your people get into quarrels with the Janissaries. The port functionaries advised foreign ambassadors because we would be quite unable to do anything for you or for them. When bands of Janissaries entered a district, the shopkeepers immediately shut up shop. It was usually impossible to stop them ransacking a city after it had surrendered. By the end of Mehmet II's reign, the Janissaries had become a military and political force with unprecedented power and would begin to influence the course of the Empire's growth in ways no Sultan had ever dreamed. Okay. Throw a smoke bomb in front of the guards. How did your trip to the doctor go? Did he give you leeches? Even down there? Oh, you are a brave man to withstand the advances of science. Oh, crap. Harrison! Bring him back! I didn't kill anyone. Blessings of God on you. Did I just see that? Come, give us a kiss! I'm trying. How do I sit? Never mind, no sitting. I need to go up.
Okay, I didn't kill anyone. How is this safe spot? Oh. Wow. Where do you learn to do that? Join the assassins. <coughs> Target the black market dealer and press to buy items. Excuse me. Pushy but effective salesmen, black market dealers traffic in equal parts junk and gems. Operating outside the normal channels of courteous commerce, they are pushy and persuasive and would be a real pain if they didn't occasionally have incredible useful wares. Excuse me. Got anything? Sticky splinter bomb. Impact cultural bomb. Fuse cherry bomb. Tripwire the tour bomb. Impact splinter bomb. These are expensive. I'll make my own, thank you. Alright. I got lost in the smoke. Oh, that. Hey! <coughs> you don't know our laws, stranger! You will be bowed in chains and thrown! Excuse me. Don't worry about me. Everything's fine. Switch to knives. Or cherry bombs. So that's the pigeon post, right? Okay. 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 Yay, yeah, new assassin signal. Uh, assassins. Is away. He is an initiate. No, idiot, I wanted to do this. Let's do something close, like, let's finish that, Bosa. Supposed to be easy. Yes. Send in the initiate. Sure. This is slightly more difficult. Send in bigger guns. Slightly more difficult. Send in that guy. Uh, can't guarantee. Let's see if we can find some easy mission for you. It's okay, baby steps. Okay, so I have a lethal pouch. Ah, oh, lethal pouch, diversion pouch, tactical pouch. 
What can we do on the tactical punch? Sticky punch. Let's go with a fuse. With Indian. Uh, scaring one. Impels movement. Uh, tactical smoke. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Scan coil. Let's do that. Cherry bomb, smoke screen, splinter bomb. Stick with cherry bombs and stick with the hot blade at the moment. That is a temple. Well. <coughs> Stop it. What is Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, hi. <laughs> Zarek Mosk. Oh, that's expensive. I need money. For larger orders, free on site adjustments, and his renowned after sale service. Come to say it, he'll smooth you down and silk you up. What the hell is that? Smooth you down and silk you up. Caution when taking bricks and marble from earthquake damaged structures. Fatalities among scavengers and even official workmen continue to rise, greatly distressing the sublime port. We are receiving disturbing reports of violence and intimidation caused by a Greek revival. <laughs> Well, is oh, that... Oh. It's a novel way to get about, I suppose? Yep. <laughs> there it is. <coughs> there was no money. Salam alaikum. How much is this mask for? Hell of expensive. Oh, I did not take off my boots. I don't think anyone else did either. Why is not this not on my map? He'll get himself killed. <laughs> no, I'm fine, thank you. I see a tailor. I don't need any specific tailing at the moment. Oh, that's a guy I could take out to... Ah! That to do a bit more. That's a funny get up. Hey, 
Please, God, let me leave. It's okay, Please, the Templars. God, save us. Yokia! Got to get out now! They're just Templars. The dead is abominable corruption. Oh, disgusting, perverted, evil. <coughs> There's a doctor. I think I know that one. You are increasing the man for the heroic epic of excellence. We win the battle. I have sent my associates to produce many copies for you. There should be a law because I can only make better. Ah, something troubles you, Fen? Yes, please. We need a full heal. Also, poison? No. Medicine? No. Okay. That should heal quickly now. Where am I even going? Am I going to the bookshop? Nope. Yep. Has he lost his mind? <coughs> no, it's quicker this way. Also, I find loot. A bit old to be leaping about, no? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, this is where I need to go, right? Meraba, please come in. Oh, excuse the clutter. I have not had time to tidy up since my trip. You sailed from Rhodes, no? See, si. how did you know? We were on the same ship. I am Ezio Auditore. Sofia Sartor. Have we met? We have now. May I have a look around? Prego. Most of my best tomes are in the back. Familiar face. The Paolo's former trading post may contain hints as to the location of the Masyaf keys. Investigate the area to reveal any secrets. It is nice. Also, Sofia. Sofia Sardo. Quite a lady, don't you think? Polylingual, multicultural, hyper intelligent, and mature beyond her years. We know she was born in Constantinople sometime around 1476 and lived there with her family until the beginning of the Ottoman-Venetian War. That was 1499, a really bad year for Venetians living inside the empire. Sophia's parents dragged her back to Venice, but she could not, never forget the city where she was born. What's that saying? You can take the girl out of Constantinople, but you can't take Constantinople out of the girl? Something like that. And that painting of her, I could stare at it for days. That's by Albrecht Dürer, the well-known German artist. It's a masterpiece, glowing with warmth and color. Sophia's father offered Dürer a ridiculous sum to paint a portrait of his daughter, but when the painter finally saw his model in person, he declined all payment. He claimed the honor of rendering her would be reward enough. Right, 
right? Only hotshot artists can get away with stuff like that. Though her interests were broad, Sophia's primary passion was for literature, a love made possible by the invention of the printing press half a century earlier. For the first time in history, books were quite cheap and available to almost everyone. Sophia loved the democratizing effect of books and made it her life's work to make sure everyone else did too. To meet another Italian in this district. Most keep to the Venetian Quarter and Galata. Altrettanto, I assume the Ottoman war with Venezia would have driven most of you away. I lived here with my parents when I was a girl. The war pushed us out. But I always knew I would return. <clears throat> Have you found anything interesting? Yes. Mio Dio! Who put that there? Incredibile. Where does it lead? Why don't we find out? <laughs> Who are you, Messere? Only the most interesting man in your life. <laughs> ah, che presuntuoso. A presto, Sofia. I will return in a moment. <laughs> Don't close the door on me. This feels like it's gonna be a... Uh... this here? Do you know how long we've been searching this filthy cistern? I've been here a few weeks. Thirteen months! Ever since the Grand Master found that damn key. But he hasn't got a clue what he's doing. All he knows is they're somewhere in the city. This is a big city. Toxero. That's what I said. Back to your post, Aietes. This feels like it's gonna be a hassle to get back out. The yellow button system. The secret door in Sophia's shop has brought us you to an underground system filled with Templars. Investigate the system, but be careful. Do not be detected. The Rebatan Sarniki, or Sunken Cistern, is the largest underground cistern in Constantinople. Originally used as a basilica, hence its alternate epitaph, the Basilica Cistern, this once grand public space, with its many hundreds of marble columns, was converted in the 6th century CE into a water storage facility for the Byzantine Palace, a complex situated immediately to the east. After the fall of the Latin dynasty and the restoration of the Palaiologi, the cistern fell out of use and was forgotten by all but a few residents of the city. By the time the Ottomans had taken over in 1453, all common knowledge of them had been lost. Still, rumors of the cistern's existence persisted in the minds of the imaginative and the hopeful, bolstered by the repeated stories of men and women who claimed to have active fishing holes in basements of their houses. It wasn't until late in the reign of Suleiman the Magnificent that the visiting diplomat rediscovered the cistern's entrance and passed on his findings to a most amused and fascinated sultan. Long jump in mid-air before performing a lamp turn to execute a long jump. Like... Like... This? Climb up, goddammit! Don't fall off.
There's a bomb making thing here. It stinks down here. We'll find the key soon. Stop making so much noise. <coughs> Just give me another cherry bomb. This I'll keep. For a cherry bomb, I want an impact shell. I want a big explosion. Fake gold coins. Uh, stick to sulfur. Okay. Look alive, huh? Pay you to wash the doors, not your feet. Kill the Templar captain to get the next key. I need to get up. <coughs> Vento Pestevo, isn't that? Ah, oh, God damn it. <coughs> Can I swim? Okay, no swimming required. Well, you said don't be detected. You didn't say don't kill anyone. sense British gunpowder ooh the good powder I'm still on the don't get detected, right? Do not be detected. Oh, finally. to do everything from the start. Yeah. Stuff to loot. Yeah, the good powder. Mm. 
Got it. Do not be that I'll kill the captain. So he's walking back and forth. There's a guard walking there. I don't think the guard notices me. Let's give it a second to do the whole thing. Stay hidden. He's walking around the back. He's coming into the front. He's walking over there. A girl bows. He walks back. And he gets stuck there for some reason. Huh. But the girls are watching from there, they'll see me. Not desynced. I'm not desynced. <coughs> I can go into the light. Best ways to get them behind those guys, I think. So, I'll wait for him to pass, I'll wait for the guard to pass. I'm not losing frames, so why is the game so choppy? He gets stuck there, the guard moves. He moves, the guard turns, I jump. Christos que apostolos. Seen that cut of clock before? Damn it. Damn it.
Fine, I'll use ranged weapons. Switch to, switch to, I'm thinking, crossbow? No, keep it on this, but give me poison darts. Regular knives, okay. But I also need to do it quickly. Things down here. You've already said that. We'll find the key soon. You said that too. Not your feet. So take that one out. Throw him away. Get the parts. Wait for the girl to be away. He's down. Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? Better. System gates. Loot. Loot. Pick up body. In the water. Put the body. Pick up body. In the water. You. In the water. Put the chest. Climb up.
Hmm. He is piking away. That guard also hitting stuff. Switch to regular blade. Where do they cut like that? Nah. Who detected me? There he is. Hurry. Fine, I'll do a full sync later. I should just do the um do the here, look away. Look this way. That's a some sort of bomb. 